portion of tonight's proceeds to my block, my hood, my city. The Olympic sport of equestrian dressage. Did I say that right? It's alive and well in North Suburban Old Mill Creek. It's a difficult sport to master, and this weekend many young amateurs are learning from the best in the business. Leanne Trotter has the story. Keep your elbows a little in front of you. Once a year, Temple Farms in Old Mill Creek hosts Dressage for Kids, a not-for-profit that specializes in teaching riders under 25 years old. It's hard. It's, um, I mean, long hours. There's a lot that goes into the training um, with the horses, but it's, it's a lot of fun. The art of dressage dates back to the 16th century. It's a riding discipline modeled after former cavalry training. Lyndon Gray participated in the 1988 Olympics and now travels around the country teaching young people. And I was saying to her, look, you pay attention to your horse, you read him, what, what do you need to do to help him do it the best he can do it the first time. Temple Farms has been around for over 60 years. It's home to 74 Lipizzan stallions, the largest privately owned Lipizzan herd in the world. They have these big muscles, they're smart, they're athletic, but one of the really important things is these minds. They're incredibly intelligent and they are um, meant, because of their history as a cavalry horse, to be connected to people. And one of the keys to successful dressage having a good relationship with your horse. There's a partnership and it's like they're your teammate. In any other sport you have a teammate, you develop a bond with them. And so I think that's what's really important about riding. Temple Farms also hosts live performances for audiences to enjoy the art of horsemanship and the coordinated ballet of the White Stallions. Reporting from Old Mill Creek, Leanne Trotter, NBC5 News. Beautiful to watch that, thanks Leanne. Now an inspiring story about never giving up on your goals. After decades, a 102-year-old woman from Paris, 